My name is Johannes Bergman. I'm from Germany. I'm a Division I college player in uh, Maryland. I play for the University of Maryland. If you can pick one team, what would it be? What comes to your mind? National, my my favorite soccer team is in Germany. It's it's Bayer Leverkusen. Okay. I grew up with Bayer Leverkusen, and it, it was always my my favorite club. I like the style how they play, how they play soccer. And international, I would say it's it's Barcelona. All right. So, uh, who's your idol in terms of defending? Like, if you if you would compare your style, um, who would it be? My idol on the field, it's, it's Mats Hummels from Bayern Munich. Why is that? Because he's he's um, he has a lot of composure. I like him when he has the ball. He opens up the game very very well, and his defending is also very good. Yeah. And um, yeah, like I said, his composure is it's very impressive. How is it to play here in America soccer? How's the level? The level, I, it's it's. In general, it's difficult to compare, but I would com if I would compare it, I would compare it with the fourth league in Germany because I played, I used to play in the fourth league in Germany, and yeah, the I would say it's a little bit more athletic, yeah, very a lot of young player, and and very fast, very strong, yeah, and I, I it's comparable with the fourth league, I would say. Right. Yeah. So, so so you are a defender, correct? You are a defender. Yeah, exactly. Um, what are three qualities that every defender should have? I think um, first of all, as a defender, you should defend well. That's obviously. <laughs> But then I think for for me, it's also important that you can open up the game very, very good, very yeah. well. So that means you the passing is very important. Um, yeah, that you can can head the ball through the um, header is very important. I would say. Those and are three already, but yeah, you can one. add one. Those are three already, but you can add one more. Yeah, and um, I would also say it's important to to lead to lead the team from behind, so to speak, with um, with your um, with your players on the field, with your teammates, to to say yeah, to to give them some instructions. Yeah. Mm. What is your most memorable? game or moment in soccer there may be a special game that you can remember or a special player you played against or something like that my my it was the the, the game with the under 18 national team against netherlands and it was in osnabrück it was my first i mean i, I played um, already a tournament in israel with the under 18 national team but then i had my first My first game for the under national under 18 national team against Netherlands it was, in, I think, in February 2012, and it was for me the the game what will always keep in my mind. Oh, yeah. um, because because there were a lot of um, people who watched the game. I think it was eight or nine thousand people, and it, it's for under 18 for this age. It's I think it's very impressive. And that's that was the most memorable moment I would say in my career. If you think back in time when you were small, what are like the three most important tips you would give to to the kids nowadays, like to improve their game or maybe to make it to the next level? Overall, what I would say it's, I mean, you you need talent, but just talent is not not enough. You always have to work hard. I mean, I think it's. A lot of coaches, a lot of managers tell that the kids, but I think it's it's really it's really true. You have to work hard. Then, yeah, also I would say you have to be ambitious. And for me, for my example, I see it's it's also important to to be good um, in the academics and the athletics because if okay. my if my grades wouldn't be that good, I I, I could never come here. Or yeah, and you you need a lot of discipline that you. It, it's it's hard to res resist um, or to resist, for example, when, when you see that your friends go out, make par to party, and you have to stay at home because you have to, uh, next day you have an important game. But that's that's um, yeah, that can make a difference when you stay at home and you work hard and you're ambitious, and then you can achieve your goals. I think. All right, thank you, thank you, Johannes. 
thank you for your time and keep going